Gareth? Huh? Uh, who are you? My name is Lillian. I'm new in town and I'm a medicine specialist. I'm so sorry for intruding on you like this, but Cadenza isn't here and the herb medicine I made for you is ready. Your friends wanted me to help you get better. I see. If you're a friend of Cadenza, then you are welcomed. But I really just want to be alone. So, what exactly is wrong with you? It's really nothing. I'm not actually sick. So, you're pretending? No, I really don't feel well. I can't help you if you don't tell me what's wrong. Huh? I'm sorry, uh, but a broken heart isn't something anyone can help me with. Sometimes talking about it helps. Malachi? Malachi, please wake up. <sighs> it's no use. R really, the only progress we're going to make is the progress that Lucinda makes, but... <sighs> Lucinda, what... Um, sorry. How are things going? I'm still confused about all of this that's happening to Malachi. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, what sense can you make of it? Look, I get that Malachi wants to live a normal life. I've seen him pretend to eat, pretend to run. Heck, he even refuses to levitate. But this... I want to believe he's pretending to be injured. But I've tried an ice pick on him, and it's not waking him. Ice picks are meant to touch spirits. This is... a real pain. Uh... Uh... Is he gonna be okay? Honestly, Afmal, I cannot say. I really can't. This goes beyond what I'm able to heal. Um, it's okay, but m maybe Kawaii-chan can do something about this. I'm afraid if I'm not able to figure this out, then she'll be of no use either. I'm not putting her down. It's just, I study multiple powers and potions, seeing as I'm not limited to such magics, to, seeing as I'm not limited such as magic users are. But this, this condition is one I've heard nothing about, nor is something I can seem to fix. My best bet right now is to stay here by Malachi's side and study what's going on with him. I can try to study the saplings that Zoe has to see if I can figure anything out. But still, this is so frustrating. Uh, you, you don't have to have all the answers, Lucinda. It's perfectly fine. You don't understand, Afmal. I want to be able to help everyone in the world with my witchcraft. I want to make people believe that when they hear that word, that it's not always a bad thing. You don't understand what it's like to be accused of being a demon worker when all you want in life is to spread love and joy to help others. It's just, when I can't help someone... Uh, uh, <sighs> Lucinda, you just... I mean, you've helped so much with so many other things, with Alexis, with just, I mean, you've helped us escape multiple situations. I mean, Lucinda, you just, you just d can do what you can for now. Th thank you, Afmal. I, I'm just going to observe, and if you're right, <sighs> do what I can. I'll be fine. I'll let you know. All right. Um, Bigglesworth... You keep an eye on her. Just make sure she doesn't overwork herself or get too stressed. Lucinda, thank you. Just, I mean, I know there's not much worse that can happen to Malachi than what he already is. So just take care of yourself for now. I'm, just don't let anything bad happen to him. I'll be back. I'm going to go check on Zoe and Levin. Uh, Zoe! There you are. Um, hey. Afmal. Malachi, you've been at his side all morning. I'm glad. I understand how you feel. I was up all last night at his bedside. What? What? Wait, aren't you the one who's normally telling me that I should be getting sleep? You need your rest. <laughs> it's weird to hear that coming from you, and I'm the one who's normally telling you this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you are right. But... I could not sleep after what happened to Malachi. I kept checking on him all night. Lucinda says there's nothing she can do for him, which I... I don't... She begins to cry. 
Zoe, I it was just an accident. I, I understand these things happen. I mean, I, I I am a little I mean, I'm not completely mad at you and I completely understand. I mean, I'm a little upset at the whole situation, not you, just it it was just an accident, Zoe. Yes, but had I been paying attention, or maybe if I was smart enough to have locked the Yagdrasil saplings away somewhere before the children went down. <sighs> Zoe, just stop. You need to sit down and relax. The more you think about it, the more you're going to talk about it, the more you're going to feel bad. Just calm down. No one is blaming you for this. You... you're right. I'm just going to sit here with Levin and think. You know, Levin has been trying to comfort me since I've been down. He's such a lovely young man. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Levin, have you been doing a good job? Mommy, Zoe says I make her happy. Levin will protect family. Oh, that's so cute, Levin. Yeah, you just keep Zoe company and just keep her smiling. I think that will be... I think that's what she needs right now. Okay, let's get going. And... Brian! Uh... Hey! Afmal, we have someone at the gates. Well... Who is it? I... Um, he's asking for the lord of the village, demanding it, in fact. So please, follow me. All right, let's go. I demand to speak with whoever it is that is stupid enough to run this village and put a gate on these sacred grounds. Oh, oh my lady Irene. <sighs> Not this guy. Ah, you! You are that terrible chicken house builder. Bring me your leader. I never thought that I was going to be upset to be the lord of this village, but right now, I actually am. I I'm upset because of you, but I am the lord of this village. Oh, you? Uh, but, but, but you are a terrible chicken house builder. How how can one be leading people if they can't build proper houses? Ugh, look, what are you doing here? This gate came out of nowhere and is in the very spot me and my people have our annual egg pooping ceremony. Y uh, you mean egg laying? Quiet, terrible housemaker. I demand this gate be taken down, or or I'll come back next year to complain. Uh, okay. Oh, now you have brought upon the wrath of the chicken shaman. Now, remove that gate. For a yearly egg laying ceremony? I'm sorry, but you never specified a spot, and... But, I mean, we can we can help you build a new spot for you and your egg-lagging ceremony. I mean, you're completely annoying to me, but I respect you, and I understand this is important to you, so... Unacceptable! We will be back next year to complain maybe for five whole minutes! Okay. Ah, see how she trembles in fear? Your I'm not chicken really shaman has redeemed our people. Now, let's go back up to our egg pooping ceremony spot. Goodbye, terrible chicken house builder. Um. Okay. Yeah. Let's. These gates. Um. They've actually prevented a huge, um, disaster from ever visiting our village. Uh, yes, I could not be more happy that these gates were built. <laughs> uh, um, uh, sorry, I'm just a little frustrated. Uh, uh, that guy was weird. I think, I think I'm going to make sure you meet everyone who comes to town before I let them in. I don't want any weird people like that coming in. <laughs> I, I think that's a great idea, Brian. I think that's actually a wonderful idea. In fact, if you see that guy again, you are more than happy to... I'm more than okay for you to have my permission to throw things at him. Don't hurt him. I, I don't want him to get hurt. But he's 
completely annoying beyond all reason. Anyway, <laughs> all right, Brian, you've done a great job about letting me know about that. Really, you have. Thank you for not letting him in. I would have gone in completely insane, especially with all that's going on right now, especially with Malachi. Oh my gosh, I just can't believe that was going to be something that I could have really... Okay, yeah, we're perfectly fine. We're good. We're good. Just don't let anybody in without letting me know from now on. Good. Yes. Right. Okay. Um... <laughs> Okay, all right, just that was it's a thing in itself. We're going to go and check on everyone else in the village and make sure that things are going according to plan. Um, Corey, hello, how are you today? Lord Afmal, haha, <laughs> I found you. I'm not too hard to find, honestly. I run around the village every day. What are you doing out here, Corey? Well, I wanted to show you the work we did on the new shrine for Irene. Follow me. Yeah, for sure! Let's go! Oh, Cory, you run too fast. I... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is just beautiful. This is so beautiful. Look at this and... Oh, there's a water fountain too! That's so pretty! Um... Oh my gosh, and there's like the, the cats in the cat ocean or whatever it is. The, uh, this is just beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. You guys really have outdone yourselves. Just the fact that the statue's here, there's flowing water. When people come, they can see the statue. That's, oh, it's beautiful. Corey, amazing job. Well, do you like it? Can you not see my enthusiasm? I, I love it. Yes. Great news. Now take this and place it where you want the statue to be. The sacred log. Yep, you gathered them, silly. Evelyn said to give you a log to place on the shrine. It gives her the ability to have the statue transferred from one place to another, or something like that. I'm not sure how this all works, but I trust her. She's waiting at the statue of Lady Irene right now. Once you place the log you'll ha you have in your hands, go speak with her. She'll perform the ceremony. Go on. We're all excited to see this. I bet you all are. All right, so, yeah, especially you, Molly. You have, like, this infatuation with Lady Irene. I completely understand and respect that, but... I'm gonna put this right here, so I guess this will activate the transfer or something like that. I have no idea what Emmeline is planning on doing, but there she is. Alright, so if she's planning on moving the statue, I I want to see what she's gonna do. I don't even understand how this works, but, um, but okay. Uh, Emmeline? Hey! Afmal, I saw you heading to the new shrine with Cory. Are you ready for me to do this? Um... I kind of want to understand what exactly are you doing. Well, don't tell Lucinda. I'm going to be performing a beginner's witchery spell. I feel bad for not asking Lucinda, an expert in witchcraft, to do this. But I really want to see if I can do this myself. So, are you ready? Um, yeah. I mean, it could be dangerous. But if you're willing to do this, then go for it. It took so many tries, but you finally got it! You did it! Evelyn! I, I did it. But I feel so drained. Oh, you should go see the statue. I'll catch up later. Okay. Evelyn, I, I, I know Lucinda, whenever she has performed her magic, she's actually fainted too, so don't worry, you'll be fine. Just, just take a quick rest, but I can't believe you did it. Oh my gosh, it got late. Uh, you guys were just staring this whole time, weren't you? Uh, yep. Um, wow, that was amazing! I know, it was, wasn't it? Um, we'll keep an eye on Emmeline. She's done something wonderful for the town. She deserves someone to make sure she didn't perform a spell that moves a statue, but turns her into a frog as a result. Oh, by the way, I wanted to let you know that Oliver recently left town to go pick up some supplies for his shop here, so if you're looking for more building materials, you're going to have to get them yourself until he comes back. Though, I think there are plenty in the crates around town. Anyway, go on. Alright, thank you, Logan. Keep an eye on Emmeline, just make sure that, you know, you're right. I don't want a side effect of this to be the fact that she becomes a frog or something like that. Something 
you know, completely absurd, but yeah, just keep an eye on her. Even if she does, I just want to say that Lucinda is an amazing magic worker. Ma no, it's not magic, witchcraft, sorry. <laughs> and I'm sure that she'd be able to help Emmeline with anything. Uh, does that mean Emmeline is like a witch, or... I don't understand how witchcraft works, but anyway, I want to go see the statue. I want to go see the statue where it is right now. I want to see exactly what it looks like, and everyone's still there. Oh my gosh, they've been waiting for this the entire day. I am so excited. Uh, let's see. Um, is... Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Oh, look at that sunset. Oh, the sunset and the statue just... Oh, absolutely beautiful. I can't believe this. Um, what do you guys think? Molly, especially you. She's beautiful. This was so worth it. Of course. It took a while for Emmeline to get it done, but this is such a wonderful spot. <sighs> I can't get over how amazing this looks. I know you guys built it, so you guys should be proud. We're actually good builders when we work together. <laughs> this is our greatest build yet. I agree, Brendan. This is... This is just beautiful. You guys done a fantastic job. I am so proud of you guys. Really, I am. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go check on Malachi and see how things are going. Um, Emmeline... Alright, so she's got Logan and Yip looking after her. I wonder where Donna is. But she's probably helping Kiki or something like that. I know a lot of the ladies are probably over there. Especially since Kiki's a first-time mother and stuff like that. Um... Uh, Brian? What's going on? You look a little... Lord Aphmau, we need you at the gates. Now. Hurry. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's go. Zane? Guards, ready your weapons. <laughs> Where is my daughter? What? Y your daughter? Bring me my daughter, Nicole von Runzenberg, to me at once! What? Your daughter? Wait! N nicole No, it... it can't be. This man here says he has seen my daughter as of yesterday in your village! Bring her to these gates, now! I know exactly where she is. Um... Yeah. I I I'm gonna go get Nicole. Go get Nicole Aphmau. I'll make sure they don't do anything rash. This man seems incredibly angered. Go as fast as you can, Aphmau. Get Nicole. I will. Just... Alright, yes. He'll, he'll stay calm. Stay at the gate, you guys. I'm gonna go get Nicole. Oh my god. Just... Zane. Alright. Just... Nicole... Wait, so she's... She's the daughter of... Scaleswin. That means that she... I didn't know this. I didn't know any- I didn't know anything about this. I- t Nicole! <sighs> Nicole! I'm sorry for barging in, but I seriously need to talk to you. I- Nicole? One of her- One of her weapons is missing. Nicole! Nicole, where is she? This place looks terrible. Just- Where's Nicole? Maybe she's at the plaza or something. Maybe- I- I don't know. It, 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 <laughs> Nicole? She, she would be in her house. I didn't see her at the plaza when I was just here a little while ago. Is... Uh, is she here? No, she, she's not at the plaza. She's not... Where would she be? She wouldn't be anywhere. I... If she's not in her house... <sighs> okay. Alright, I need some time to go look for Nicole. They need Nicole now. I... She's not there. I, I got it. I just... I need something to eat. I just... Alright, I gotta go find Nicole. I gotta... She's not there. She's not anywhere. She's... Okay, she's gotta be somewhere in the village. We gotta find her. I just gotta tell them that she's not here. That... Alright. Yeah. Look, I am so sorry, but I... I can't seem to find Nicole. What?! She's here in this village, I swear to you. It's just, I... I can't seem to find her right now. She's not in her house, and... She's lying. My daughter has been gone for two months. She's here, and you cannot find her? I don't know what kind of a shoddy town you are running here, but you won't be the lord of it much longer. You have five 
days to bring her to me, or I will rip down your gates, burn your village, and find her myself! <laughs> wow, what a shame. Who could ever have seen this coming? Zane! You did this. Where is Nicole? That is quite the accusation you are putting against me without any proof. It's quite the situation you've got your little village into. I could talk to the Lord of Scaleswin and clear up this misunderstanding and make this all go away. But I'm going to need you to give me those two amulets back. You cursed my people with those amulets. I don't know why you want them, but I am not giving them back to you. <laughs> you are a funny woman. You would risk the safety of your own people over those trinkets. The people you are sworn to protect, you would risk their lives over two pieces of jewelry? You could just give them to me and spare them. I will not give them to you. So be it. My offer still stands. <laughs> this is bad. This is... Lawrence... This is bad. This is incredibly bad. Don't You don't have to tell me that twice. Where is the amulet? I have it. Good. I know exactly... Good. I know exactly what we're gonna do with it. We need to hide it. Hide it? But where? We... I don't know of a place right now, Lawrence, but... What we need to do is we need to both hide it, and we need to find Nicole. We need to find her. Agreed. Let's get moving on this at once. Everyone, let's go. Ha 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 ha.